What a beautiful day the Lord has given us. This Sunday. As we know, we don't have any days like this in San Antonio. There is a joy and praise the Lord. I would like that we will begin with a letter of people that we know and we believe that God wants to bring into this synodal process as we begin this journey with Pope Francis throughout the Universal Church. I will begin with some sectors of our, our humanity and then like to add from your seat a group feel free to shout it out this united process is mindful of the homeless Bishops, the Pope himself, people with jobs and without jobs. Let's add to the list. El Señor quiso quebrantarlo con sufrimientos. Nos dice Isaías, qué misterio. Dios nos ama tanto que envió a su Hijo único al mundo para morir en una cruz y así salvarnos. The Lord was pleased to crush him in the What a mystery. God so loves us that He sent His only Son to the world to die on the cross and save us. 
Jesus referred to James and John as the sons of thunder. Faithful to that nickname, they dared to ask for a place of prominence over their peers. They weighed pros and cons and went for it. They knew that sitting at the side of the Lord in His glory was worth the bet. Even if it meant sacrificing friendships in their own lives. They were serious about it. But at this point, they still did not really understand what the kingdom is about. The Lord taught them a lesson that turned their audacity into self-humiliation. They wanted the first places. They wanted to get advantage of the situation. Though they have courage. It was a preliminary test of true courage as they did not run away but accepted the humiliation and remain in the midst of those they had just offended to the, the other disciples. They both proved their faithfulness later. John stood at the foot of the cross. James was the first among the twelve to be executed. What a lesson, not only for them to learn, but a for us to learn as well. Whether to be with the Lord and to have the same feelings and thoughts of Jesus implies the giving of our very lives. We need to learn from their courage to go through the journey that the church throughout the world began a week ago, in which we officially opened for the Archdiocese of San Antonio here today. The Pope has summoned all Catholics to work together for the next two years or so in a process that involves truly listening to one another, challenging our views, and breaking through our comfort zones, growing in humility in the that's the road to go, my brothers and sisters. Es el camino de la humildad. Necesitamos aprender de la valentía de estos dos discípulos para recorrer el camino de la iglesia en todo el mundo que comenzó hace unos días el Papa en Roma y que ahora nosotros decimos sí a caminar con los hermanos y hermanas en la fe para transformar la humanidad. Papa nos desafía y nos invita a romper nuestras zonas de confort creciendo en la humildad. La humildad es la virtud básica de la vida espiritual. Humility is the basic uh, virtue of the spiritual life. In the last few decades, our social circles of people we fully trust and with whom we share our moral views and identity have shrunk tremendously. We have become increasingly divided and polarized in society and even within the church. That needs to stop and be overturned. It is on us, on all of us, to do it. There is no other way. It seems like everything is getting darker and darker day by day. Jesus 
Jesus doesn't give an option. He invites us to learn and live to the fullest. And we, his disciples, are invited through humility to build up the way his whole self, not just bits and pieces that we like to hear from the gospel and the church teaching. We are very good to select what we want or even the knowledge we think we have. But the living person of Jesus, the whole Christ and the whole church, with all He 
loves you and me. He loves all. <coughs> he loves us. Us. Everyone. And we need to listen to him. We can be listening to politics and societies throughout the world and it's just getting darker. We have allowed the situations of the world, not the reality of people, the situations of the world filtered through ideologies about who we are. And in this year of process we say, no, no, no. And we say yes to the proposal of a God who loves us till the end. He walks along with us, leading us to God's own inner life, but in order to be us. We need to care for one another, listen to each other, and believe that God will speak to us through our neighbor. Encounter, listening, and discerning. So let us begin this journey, praying, for the salvation of the world. A woman with nine children and ended widow with eight was beatified in Mexico. She used to pray constantly. Jesus, Savior of all people, save them. Her love as a mother let her to think of everyone. In many ways, she was found in, found in herself in the heart of Jesus. And in that heart, she heard, I love you all. And she dedicated her life to ask Jesus to save all people. And I think it's what you do as a mother, as a father, as a member of a religious community, as, as a pastor in your parish. Jesus, save them. All people. The letter to the Hebrews tells us to hold fast because God sympathizes with our weaknesses. So much so that He, through whom all things were made, became one of us and has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. As a high priest, He offered the sacrifice, the very celebration and sacrifice that we offer at Mass, of Himself for our salvation. Let us confidently approach Him as we begin this battle together with the whole church to receive mercy and to find grace for our time and generations to come. When we name th that long Latin of groups of people, how, how are we going to connect with them? To name it implies care and we care but how are we going to reach out actually to them? To those who are not at Mass, those who are present for baptism, those who are not requesting confirmation, the many who wish to have someone by their bed as they are dying. All of them and it's up to us to do it. It will take us time. But 
we start today. Caminando en la oscuridad del mundo de nuestro tiempo, oramos como escuchamos en el sábado de hoy. Muéstranos bondadoso, muéstrate bondadoso con nosotros, pues en ti, Señor, hemos puesto nuestra confianza. Walking in the darkness of the world at our time, and we embrace completely, we pray that we responded to the Son. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. This is not the time for fear. And there are many voices that invite us to fear, to find in the sources of those voices our trust. No. Fear is useless. What is needed is trust. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. Walk with us, Lord. We are overwhelmed by evil, suffering, and our own sins. We do not understand, but we trust in you. We believe that you walk with us through your own suffering. You are especially close to those who suffer the most. You shall justify many because you bore our guilt. As we commend your spirit into the Father's hands, for his glory we entrust ourselves and our work in your hands for the salvation of people. Blessed Mother, poor Lady of Guadalupe, guide us back and remind us constantly of our calling to trust in the Lord. And may we find 